Hey, Smallville fans, back to do another Smallville review for you. First off, happy Valentine's Day. So I just saw the episode Beacon. All I can say, wow, wow, what a great episode. This is how Smallville needs to be. This is how last week's episode should have been. It was, it was great. We had, you know, John Glover coming back. We had Lucas Gabriel coming back to play Lex Luthor again, which was great. We had Martha Kent back. I mean, this episode was fantastic. And now, at the end of this episode, we have the VRA storyline out of the way, so now they can bring in Darkseid and his minions. I love it. I love it. I can't say enough about this episode. But, I will. So, the basic plot of this episode is, it's almost voting time for the VRA bill. And all the heroes are a bit nervous because they don't think they've swayed enough people, and they don't think that society is on their side. So in a last-ditch effort, Martha Kent returns to Metropolis to give a speech rallying the troops and rallying all the people to side with the vigilantes. And while she does that, uh, there's an assassination attempt on her. And so Clark, being at his house, um, was a bit nervous that he wasn't there to, uh, you know, blur in front of the bullet, as it's said later. So he goes to the scene of the crime, and... Um, turns out that the bullets had kryptonite in them. And so, you know, he's looking around, trying to figure out who the, uh, who the culprit was. And the, act the answer actually comes to him. Oliver goes to his uh, office, and who does he find there? Lionel Luther with Lex. And he's blown away. And they have a quite interesting little conversation. You know, the thing I like about uh, movies and TV shows is I like the look on people's faces when, you know, somebody thinks that, you know, their enemy or, you know, the antagonist is, is gone and then they come back and just look on the protagonist's face, well, in this case, Oliver's face, which is, which is classic. Also, you know, when, when Clark and when Tess, you know, and when Martha, when they all saw Ida Luther, the looks on their faces were great. And, the, oh, I... I can't tell you enough about this episode. It was just so good. So if you guys haven't seen Beacon, go see it. Because it just, like, threw collateral out the window. How bad it was. Not bad, I'm sorry. Just confusing and how out of place for me it was. It just, it was just so much better. So basically, um, Oliver finds out Lex and Lionel are back and alive and well. And so Oliver goes back to the uh, watchtower and uh, tells the gang that they're back. And then Lionel brings Alexander to the mansion and says, this is your new home. This was our home. It's going to be your home now. But uh, Alex disagrees. You know, he doesn't want Lionel Luther by his side because he says, you know, you had me as your son in two different lives. But both times you chose Martha Kent's son. And I really like that moment because, you know, like you said in my, my Top Ten Moments video, you know, I like that Lex finally confronted Lionel about that. You know, he finally actually said the words that he was feeling for, you know, a couple seasons about how Lionel was treating Clark more like a son than he was his own. So I really like, I really like that part. And so Alexander tries to kill Lionel and Martha by knocking them out and throwing whiskey and alcohol and brandy and stuff all over the uh, mansion. And then eventually throwing one in the fire, causing it to ignite, you know, the trail of alcohol, trying to burn down the mansion. But Clark gets there in time and rushes out with uh, Lionel and Martha. They're safe. Clark looks at Lionel and says, it's not over. And so the VRA bill is about to be announced whether or not it's going into effect or not. And it turns out the bill is repealed. So it's not going to happen. So all the heroes are happy. And I was happy because I was over the VRA storyline. And then the end of the episode, Tess is sitting in the barn. Alexander comes up. Tess is looking at a cyanide needle. She's going to inject it into Alexander, killing him. But he comes up the stairs and says he's forgetting things got me thinking, okay, good, this is the direction they need to go, you know, Alexander's going to forget about Clark, 
possibly, but he won't forget about the blur. So, they hug, they embrace, and Tess goes to stab Alexander, and the needle bends. What? It bends. So, we'll see where they're going with that. If you haven't seen the uh, trailer for uh, Masquerade, it looks pretty good. I'm excited. They're going to start bringing Darkseid in, hopefully. So, check it out. And uh, leave your comments and messages, whatnot. Let me know what you think. All right, bye.